Hi Aquarius, I'm Karma and welcome to Karma Light Readings. If you are new here, please subscribe and like. Thank you so much for checking out this video and my channel. This is your love reading for August 17th through the 24th as I bang my cards loudly on the table. That was weird. Don't know why I was doing that, like you couldn't hear me. All right, let's get started up there he is. Let's see what has been going on. I hope you guys are doing well. Here we go. Spirit's ready. Ooh, nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody is not happy with the actions of somebody else. I feel like there was a lot of attraction in this connection, Aquarius. Somebody overindulged in something. Somebody was being obsessive with something. Um, I personally, when I get this card upside down, to me, I immediately see temptation and I see um, just overindulging in uh, sexual pleasure. Somebody was cheating. It's not for all of you. So please don't, I don't want anybody to be like, oh my gosh, that's just the energy for me when I see the nine of pentacles. So again, it's just letting me know that somebody is feeling disconnected from the connection. And I also am feeling the energy of somebody just feeling out of sorts, like they're not understanding what's going on and they're wanting to give up and they're very disappointed. Somebody's very disappointed in this nine of pentacles and it's like they're both looking the other way and they're in reverse because right now it's not a good feeling right now between the two of you. And here you are, you just fell out. Here you are, Aquarius, the star. So you're looking for clarity. Either you or this could be your partner's energy or cross-watcher, okay? Again, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, but somebody's really wanting some clarity in this connection, and they're not understanding because it's like this person, you, which I'm really strongly feeling that this is you, but this person is like, it doesn't have to be like this. It's so simple. Just speak your truth. Like that's the type of energy that I'm feeling. So I definitely feel like that's you, Aquarius. But Spirit, what can Aquarius um, expect in this connection? August 17th through the 24th. August 17th through the 24th. Wow. Wow. The High Priestess and the Four of Wands. So really trusting yourself. There is this... There is this promise here that, that, that seems really far away. And I think a lot of you are feeling like it can't, it's never going to happen. <clears throat> and spirit is telling you to, spirit is telling you to trust your intuition and to hang on to that vision and that hope that you really, because that's how you're going to manifest it. And I feel like you want some clarity in that and some clarity in what was happening in the connection as well. So Spirit, please, they're showing me so much right now, so I'm going to need them to slow down. So Four of Wands. So Spirit, please show me for Aquarius, August 17th, page 24, August 17th. Oh, wow, and it's two cards. Okay, let's see. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Because the promise is there. So where there was, this might even be recent past for you, Aquarius, okay? But I feel like this week, this week coming up, this is good times. This is good times. Look at this energy. Look at this energy right here, Aquarius, okay? We have a water sign here, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But this guy, he knows what he wants. This is a masculine energy. Now, again, masculine energy doesn't mean that it's a, um, a man, okay? It's just somebody who's very sure of what they want, okay? So they're coming off very strong and very confident. Um, and there's this promise of this great, happy future, okay, of wanting a connection and, and, and getting to this point. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. And this King of Cups is like, yes, yes, it's coming. It's coming because I'm sure of it and I want this stability with you. So I really feel like this, this masculine energy over here is the one that is really wanting, okay? Again, it doesn't have to be a man. It's just the energy. Wow. And then we have the Devil in Reverse. So some, oh, 
This is beautiful. So we have the devil in reverse Aquarius and the Empress. So it's like, I really feel like where it was upside down and there was some, somebody was feeling a little bit rejected in this, in this connection. And then in the search for this clarity, we received this promise of the, of a few, you know, of a better future. Okay. And I'm seeing that this past relationship, you guys have been through some stuff and somebody's come to a deep revelation and like humbled themselves greatly Aquarius because they've kind of realized what they were doing and what their part was. And that's, that's a deep moment for people to go through. Um, but then I have it with the Empress, which I love because the Empress is all about new beginnings. This is like fruitful time for you, fertility. Okay, maybe some of you, um, cause you do have the Page of Cups. So there could be a pregnancy involved, okay, with some of you Aquarius, but not all of you, cause I don't feel that very heavily, but definitely this is the beginning of new times. With this King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, somebody is wanting this stable future. It could be your energy or your partner's. I'm getting the feeling that things are starting to take a turn, you know, for for better. Um, because this Devil in Reverse, that's, for me, the Devil in Reverse is huge. It's, it's very big for me. I have personal experience with um, just an evil connection from my past, right? And I... When I get the devil upright, it brings me back to that person. And when I get it in reverse, I'm always shocked because I view this person as n never just staying asleep, you know, while we're here on our journey. And I, and I don't ever see them being able to get out of that type of um, behavior. So whenever I see the devil, I'm like, super shocked when it's in reverse. So for me, that represents that this person, either you or your other person, is like it's divine intervention is how I feel. Like literally God came in and snapped them out of it and they're changing their ways. <clears throat> Five of Cups, yeah. Because they were really in there. You have some water signs here, Aquarius. So you could be dating Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But the Five of Cups... Somebody was very remorseful, very remorseful for what they put the other person through. But I feel like it didn't, that remorse didn't happen right away. I'm feeling a delay. There was a disconnection at some point where I don't think they realized, I don't think they realized what they were doing. And once that, once they did, that's where this devil in reverse came in because they were like, I have to change my ways because this is my person and they're going to leave me. So let's see. Spirit, one more card, please, for Aquarius. And then I'm going to clarify with Angel Tarot as well. Yeah. Yes. Uh, somebody, when, so during this break, during this break, somebody was, not only were they regretful, but it was like, I feel like the pain that I'm feeling right now is almost like my whole dream just got taken away from me. Everything that I had like planned out, right? Because somebody in this connection, either both of you or there was a conversation, but somebody really felt like this could have been it. This could have been it. We could have really went somewhere together. And so somebody was really remorseful about how things ended and what and what happened. So... Okay, let's get some clarification, and then we'll move on to future forecast. So, Nine of Pentacles and Page of Cups in reverse. Spirit, please clarify. With 27 cards? I don't think so. They've been doing this to me a lot lately. Throwing me out clumps. Here we go. There's one. Okay, exactly. Love it. So, the Strength card, okay? <clears throat> Great Inner Strength Release. Release. Release harsh jud judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So in this break that we talked about in the beginning here, okay, where it was like a lot of disappointment and somebody did something. There was some temptation and somebody was being very egotistical and it was painful because somebody was very hurt, Aquarius. And spirit is telling you to have strength and to really be able to, by strength, be able to not hold on to the grudges and to release the hurt that was caused by that 
particular situation in this connection so that by releasing it you can allow love to flow in so that it can heal properly not only for yourself but for them as well i will fall over if i do that sorry i'm a little old i know i don't look it but i am <laughs> okay so the star and the high priestess and spirit is um clarifying this with the three of earth the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. Yes, because you wanted clarification on the connection, right? This is all about, you know, knowing what's going on, being connected intuitively, empathically to each other, um, having that balance, okay? And you wanted clarity on this, like what is going on? And that's what the Three of Pentacles is, because the Three of Pentacles is one person is really putting in all the work here, right? And the Three of Pentacles is about working together, being in a mutual um, connection where there's teamwork, give and take. And it's like you're looking for that and it was nowhere to be found. So King of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Please clarify King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. Plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. Okay, and that makes sense because remember, they're telling us this story of what was going on, that there was this promise, right? And this King of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, they really, I feel like this is really what it felt like at one time and what it can be and what they want it to be, but for some reason... It just didn't make it to that point. And they're saying that, yes, this is, there was a point in time where it just didn't work out. Um, and I feel like some of you are realizing that, that it was poor timing and it wasn't, it wasn't its time for this connection. So the devil in reverse and the empress, they are on cue today. The star, that's you, Aquarius. You've made an appearance again. Okay, so the star, happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. It's exactly what I told you. The devil in reverse in the birth card. This person, this energy has gone through some sort of transformation, deep humility, like really deep humility for the devil to turn his life around. That's how you got to look at this card. So whatever has happened, like this person has really... You know, and if they haven't reached it yet, Spirit is saying it's coming. They have to go through this. This is like that part of their life journey. And there's this new beginning. Abundant times are coming to you with the star, which is happy times on the right path and make long-term commitments. It's clarity. It's renewal. It's realizing and knowing that you are where you are supposed to be and that everything is working out because you, you were patient and divine timing is truly your friend in this connection. So... Let's have clarification spirit on the five of cups and the ten of cups. Again, lots of water energy here. Oh my God. So see, it's victory. Good news is on its way. Six of fire, which is the six of wands, Aquarius. So while you guys were having this hard time and took a break, yes, somebody's really remorseful and regretful because they wanted this happy ending with you. But guess what? It ends in victory for you. It ends in victory for you. And that's why we have the six of wands. Because it, you guys work it out. Yes, there's some pain there. But I feel like you guys find a way to work out the, the kinks and that pain. And understanding why you had to go through certain things. Right? To grow and evolve and heal. So Holy Spirit, Please give us a love forecast for August 17th through the 24th. August 17th through the 24th for Aquarius. Yeah, this is a time, this is a happy time for you, Aquarius, because I'm seeing in your home life, Right now, you guys have a lot of blessings coming in. And home life is obviously your connections, right? Your close, intimate connections. Where there was confusion, again, I have the, the child card and clouds, which is letting me know it's the same as the devil and birth for me. Because it's like where there was darkness, where there was confusion, now there's light. Now there's innocence and purity because you're, you're able to start over the connection. 
um, from a more balanced look. Yes. Oh, you got the birds. <laughs> so you got the birds and you got the cross. So there's some sort of very good, uh, good luck news. Like I said, we have victory here that says good news. It's on its way. And I really feel like it is. The birds are indicative of a message coming towards you. And the cross is always a good thing. For me, it's very spiritual. It's very healing when I get the cross. That's what it means to me. So Aquarius, this is all that I'm getting from Spirit today, but this is your love reading for August 17th through the 24th. Thank you so much for tuning in to Karma Light Readings, and I hope to see you next week. Bye.